Hello and uh, welcome to this episode of The Documentary. It's a documentary, don't let anyone tell you any different. So uh, it's week eight. Clever amongst you will have worked out that we're halfway through. It's a 16-week training programme. This week I did four runs. I had to juggle things around a little bit because um, I had some work this week. I had a video game session, some ADR... I had a contact lens appointment, just an aftercare thing, nothing to worry about, and just other bits and pieces with the kids. Uh, I didn't bother filming anything of the first run on Monday, uh, or perhaps I deleted the footage. He did two lots of intervals. They were pretty good, if I'm honest with you. First intervals was three lots of ten minutes. I actually managed to do those pretty quick. Uh, second day of intervals, I was similarly pleased, if not perhaps more so. Very happy about the way the speed sessions went and it feels like I'm getting back to the pace that I, I had maybe uh, a year ago when I was actually doing, I could actually run a 10k in under 48 minutes. So that's enough of that. I'm now going to hand you over to myself to describe the uh, long run that I did on Saturday. So today I'm going to go out for my long run which uh, on the Garmin plan is two hours 45 minutes and then a cool down. The longest run I've previously done is 28 and a bit kilometers. Uh, I'm gonna go a bit slower than that run, but that's what I'm aiming for, 28 kilometers. So I've found a nice route uh, on Garmin Connect where I'm gonna go over to Hampton Court. I've left it sort of um, early afternoon, so it should be a nice day. I've dug the bladder out. Uh, I haven't used that for a while. I actually know how to use it now. Last time I used it, I think I didn't realise that it actually has an on and an off. Uh, which explained why I couldn't get any water out of it at some point. Put a litre of water in there. It's got a Lucozade as well. Three gels. I'm hoping that's going to be overkill. So, let's go for that run. <laughs> in now so I'm well over a third of the way into the run and if I was doing the marathon I'd be over a quarter still feel all right yeah don't forget I've had two speed sessions uh, in the days prior to today so uh, hopefully while I'm doing the marathon my legs will be a bit more fresh because uh, of the tape <laughs> Court Palace, which is lovely, and we're just over 15k now, so we're well over halfway. That's 18 and a bit done. Uh, still feel all right. Only 10 to go. I wasn't expecting this to come through Richmond Park. But here we are. Oh, I think I'm turning up there. This might be a bit tough, actually. <sighs> Thank you. 
Oh, 20k in on a nice hill. Oh, still, at least I'm not trying to do it on a bike. Oh, it's a relief to be back on a flat. Oh, didn't quite kill me. Just five to go, or maybe six. Let's see. Quite a nice little uh, downhill bit just then. So I'm feeling all right, I think. Heart rate's not too high. So I'm not dying. So I've just done 25 kilometers. I must admit, I thought I'd be feeling a lot worse than I am at this point. I was just running up and down the road as I, uh, I just got to the level crossing just as the gates were coming down. Oh, so that's 28. That was the goal. Anything else is a bonus. I'm not home yet, so I'm gonna carry on. Beat my longest ever run of uh, 28.65, whatever it was. I'm gonna go for 29. I think that's it. I think this is now my longest ever run. Oh, and I thought I'd be in bits at this point. I don't feel too bad. Still got some water left in the bladder. Still got a bit of Lucas Aid left. Wow. 29 kilometers. And my heart rate's in zone two. Can you believe it? Been running for two hours and 56 minutes. I'm gonna start cool down now. And round it up to 30. Oh, amazing. Oh, and that's 30k. Can't believe it. Oh, that's my longest run. I might have an ice bath. I haven't done that for a long time. Do a bit of yoga. Stuff myself with food. Yeah, happy with that. So there you go. That was uh, a 30k run. Uh, and very happy with how that turned out. So I thought it'd be a lot harder, to be honest with you. I did, um, you know, I ran 10K on the Thursday for the interval session, did another 10 and a half K-ish for the second interval session, and um, then to run 30K the next day, I thought that was really gonna do me in, but actually it was okay. Uh, at the end of the run, I felt like I maybe could have gone on a bit further. I did do a little bike ride immediately after got in had some protein then just went out on the bike for about 15 minutes really loose low gear and I think that helped and uh, yeah the next day my legs actually felt okay anyway hope you've enjoyed that see you next time <laughs>